So let's see the differences between HDFS and Kodo. HDFS was developed in year 2006 by Apache Software Foundation in year 2006 and it was inspired by Google white paper GFS. Kudu is basically from Cloudera and it's a storage engine and uh, this was basically created in Cloudera in year 2000. 16 so 10 years difference hdfs is very good for sequential access related use cases for example i am doing some kind of log file analysis and i am reading my data from beginning to end so it's like a sequential access or sentiment analysis you are reading review comments from beginning to end that's again another use case of sequential access but kudu can be used for sequential access use cases as well as random read random write kind of use cases so kudu supports both so that's another important thing apart from that kudu is simplifying lambda architecture big data lambda architecture as this can be used in batch layer as well as in speed layer hdfs not good for random read random write kind of use cases so not suitable to work in the speed layer so it is used only in batch layer of lambda architecture so this is based on java that means java is a prerequisite before you can install hdfs but this one is c plus plus based so performance would be good no garbage collection issues so those advantages are there so here updates are not allowed as such but there are some exceptions like if you have orc format and you are working with hive then you can achieve but usually you will find HDFS does not allow updates. Hive up allow updates on HDFS using ORC. That's a different story. But in general, updates are not allowed in HDFS. But Kudu updates are fine. You can do that. Apart from that, HDFS, you can store all types of data. All types of data. But this one, you can store only structured data structured data okay so hdfs people usually prefer when you need flexibility flexibility in terms of storing data in terms of storing data so you don't want to be very stringent right now you don't even know like what client will do with the data so you just want to keep it that can be one scenario second scenario can be you just want to store files free text files or you can say images video so this is giving you a lot of flexibility in storing the data but kudu this is a relational model relational database model data model and hence you have to be very structured when you are storing data so it is much more strict then hdfs so hope this gives you an idea like what is the difference between these two technologies